Hey, what's up everybody? Brand new video. I know it's been about a week since I've uploaded anything, but I've had to work. So, I'm back, and I've brought you guys an awesome new video. This one's really special to me. Uh, um, so, on this new video, I've been asked before, you know, what kind of quality of life changes am I making to this, uh, the, the 3K GT. Um, and that's what this video is about today. It's a quality of life change that, you know, it's going to make this car more modern. Um, not changing... I know. Not change anything about the car necessarily, just more of you know, the interior where I'm going to spend most of the time in the cockpit. Um, it's where I'm going to be driving, so why not update you know, the old and bring in some new life. Um, so today's video, <laughs> I'm super excited about this one, guys. I'm going to bring you guys along for the, the build of it for today. Um, be pulling out, well I've already got it out, but this is the tachometer. Will you get out of the, hey, I am trying to do a video. Get your butt out of here. But anyways, we're working on the tachometer. I got you guys a little present. Right here. Some of y'all probably already know where this is going. So, let's get this box open real fast. Show you guys what we're working with. Cat, I really need you to get out the way. Sorry guys, she is just all needy and everything like that this morning. I just got off work maybe a few hours ago. I took a hot shower and I'm wide awake. I don't, I'm usually not wide awake after work, um, but for right now I am. So yeah, let's put this out the way. Be my working station as well for today. Ooh, we got a lot of foam, great, okay something I don't need to casket into. Um, Mother Kitty Cat's eyeball on it. Well, well, secret's out the bag. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me put this whole foam up real fast. Alright, so here's what we got. This is for the 3K GT. This is for the SL version, 160. You can tell it's 160 here as well. Um, what this is, <laughs> this is um, reverse, well, I guess what you call it, reverse tachometer glow. I think it's what most people call it, or uh, ND glow. Um, super stoked about this because I've seen people do lots of videos and it comes out really clean and looks really smooth. So I'm super stoked about this. I just kind of want to get it out and see how it looks. And I'm, I want to test these. I do. So I, what I might do is get a power source just to test them to. I've never in my life worked with these before. So this will be a learning curve, not only for myself and for y'all as well, if y'all are wanting to do something like this. So um, from what I've seen, you can connect these bits right here. So all, all these these face plates um, overlays have this. Let me see if it'll focus real quick. They're going to have this little inlet that goes and connects to the rest of them. So let's go ahead and get these lined out without bending anything. So let's go over here. Boom. And <laughs> uh, this is probably going to give away what I'm doing, but I'm not. <laughs> keep that. I'm actually not going to use these right here. Um, I don't plan on using these. Um, you guys will see why later on in a video that I have coming. It's going to be super exciting, so can't wait for that. And here is, seems to be my relay circuit, or the circuit, or the resistor, whatever you want to call it. I'm not too fancy on knowing terms for electrical. I know what to do and what not to do, but knowing terms is like something I'm terrible at. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, so this little bit I got here is for all this to connect to. So I'm assuming I'll connect everything to this right here, which is, yep, that's what it's looking like, yeah. And then we got um, our power, we got power and we got our negative, so that's where this is all going to be powered up to. And this is, oh sweet, blue and green. 
I think Tesla is going to be blue and green, but um, we'll see what color that is. This is a, wow, this is really, this is like heavy duty. Holy crap. Minimum, maximum. Okay, so right now it's turned all the way to max. That one's a minimum. Okay. Alright. This is actually pretty well made. I'm really surprised. Because usually, I mean, I've dealt with this in the past when I had a Honda Civic. I put an Indy Glow in it and it was... This thing is trash compared to this one. This one's actually very well built. Okay. So this connects to these down here. Which are these. So, here's our uh, relay circuit deal. Right here, boom. Um, I'll hide this, get it zip tied out of the way. Connect these here to our, our face plates, and then our face plates will go over the top of our tachometer. Um, and then I'll put this somewhere where I can adjust it. It has, it has like some bolts, so I can probably put that in somewhere. Probably somewhere really handy that will get on notice. Hold on a second. That's actually wobbling quite a bit. Oh, okay. Well, it's just the front place. All right. Also, my um, all right, second go, my food went off. So I'm going to take a little break just to get my food because I cannot work without food. But this is what we're working with today, guys. So I will see you in just a second to get this ready. Go on. Here we go.
All right, folks, so I went and took it in the kitchen, hot water and some Dawn dish soap and washed it as best I could. Um, it's really, really clean on both sides of the van. It sucks. It's got a lot of scratches in it. But this will have to do. This is what I'm left with. So let's put these in here. Click it shut. as a whole. Pretty clean, in my opinion. Honestly, it's better than the OEM. <laughs> oh man, it looks so good. Man, I can't wait to see it. It's gonna look so so good, y'all. Mm. Well, there's the finished product. Oh, hold on. Can I click this one? Can I click it? There we go. So that is it for right now until I can get this hooked up for tonight and hey I'll everybody. get the video to you guys. Uh, I totally soon, forgot so. on that last video or the last clip of me uh, doing the tachometer of with the uh, overlays that I did, forgot to put an ending to it. And I was originally planning to put it in the car and then test it and show you guys. But then I realized there's really no point because I'm going to be pulling it out anyway. So I'm just going to wait till um, I put the dash back in the car and hook up all the wiring and stuff. And on another note. Um, let me show you what I was talking about, because today I'm going to add this video together with the, the, tech, the tachometer. But what I want to show you guys is because I was, I was planning to start on this car today, um, but then I realized this car has the OEM lock nuts, and I don't have those. So I had to call my guard, take a picture of that, and get, get uh, a key made and they're getting one shipped out to me. So hopefully it works, I can get those off. If not, I'll have to do other means to get it off. But on to the next subject of the day. I don't know if you guys can tell, but see the color of that? Black. See the color of this one? Gray. And you know what that means? That means that while I wasn't recording today because I really just wanted to focus on getting it done, I pulled out the dash on the red one today. It took me about an hour and a half, I think, because I've already done that one over there, so it really wasn't that bad working on this one today. Um, I just was very persistent. I remembered where all the bolts were, got it undone, and then put in. But I will say there was one bolt um, on here that was different from the the 1G. So the 2G, there's an extra bolt. Let me go around. There's an extra bolt that you have to remove the um, the passenger airbag. And the one cheese don't have this and it, it just goes right here and the only way you can get to it is by taking out two bolts that set up underneath it which are on the airbag which is right here so and I don't think I have no I actually don't think I do no let me check yeah no there's no airbag right there on the one G so that's actually really kind of that's different hmm. well I guess um I'll just put a, a, a fake airbag there for right now with the uh, black but yeah this is all gonna get sw swapped over today um i want to just show you me switching out the harness from this one to the 1g harness so when i say by 1g that's like the first gens with the pop-up so this is the the 1g's um wiring harness for the dash and i'll be using that on the black one and then i started a little bit on the bumper just removing the snake eyes and popping these out because it's it's almost time that i start pull working on the motor and do on everything like that but that's where we're kind of at today so thank you guys for staying tuned from their awesome video i know it's been about a week so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video hope it's not boring but it's you know enjoyable 
Um, thank you guys just for everything, sports, likes, comments, subscribes. It really does mean a lot to me and growing me in this, uh, growing this channel. Hopefully I can make a living out of this someday. I don't know. It's, it's a long way off and just something I might look forward to later on in life if this really does succeed. Or just a, just a, kind of like a side gig. I'm not sure yet because I know after I finish the 3000 GT that I want to do something to the RSX. The RSX is like my baby and I, I really want to do something for her. Um, maybe an all-wheel drive swap with a, with a turbo on it. Um, maybe we'll see. There's just, there's just a lot going on right now. So, but yeah, um, hold on, let me tie this back up. Thanks guys. And, uh, see you guys back on the next video. I think, um, before I end this out, I think the next video I'm either going to do, if it comes in, um, the lock nut for the wheels so I can get all that off, uh, and I can start pulling out, uh, stuff from underneath the engine of the main car. Um, so I can start engine work. That'll probably be my next video if the key comes in. But if not, um, another video will be right after that, which is a surprise. I can't tell you guys about it until it gets here. So depending on which um, item gets here first, depends depends on the video. Um, thanks, guys. Have a good one. Later. Psych, you thought the video was ending. Not just yet. Um, <laughs> when I decided to cover up that lens just a second ago, I thought, you know what? Let's take an extra 30 more minutes. And let's just pull something else out. So... What I did was, I went ahead and did the brake and clutch pedal. Um, I said some not so nice things when I was doing that. <coughs> Plastic is alright. Um, the brake booster here was a pain, but what made it worse is the clutch, the clutch uh, reservoir, and the master slave cylinders right there, which doesn't really exist on this one. If you can't, if you can't tell, it doesn't exist right there. So. I had to, <laughs> um, let me see here, hold on. So I had to take an extra full steps. I had to take extra steps just to get the brake and clutch out of that red one. I, oh, I banged my head on top of the, uh, the dash trim holder, the metal piece that hooks down. And yeah, but uh, <laughs> here, here it is in all its glory. Here's the clutch pedal. Good as new, well, almost. <laughs> It's going in and it's going to get prettied up, so I'm not too worried. Um, here's the old single piece of crap one that's boring. And then here's the, old, the new sexy one for, um, you know, clutch and brake. I was going to make something cheesy, but yeah, already cheesy enough. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for staying around if you did for this last little uh, clip. As always, have a good day and thank you for staying tuned. See you guys later.